safe to say it's going to be a very busy weekend for rangers at Utah State Parks. They expect several of them to be at full capacity over the 4th of July weekend. Yeah, no surprise, but which parts are expected to be the busiest? And are there any you should avoid if you want to get away from big crowds? Paul Nelson has more from Jordan L. State Park for us. Paul? This is one of the parks that state officials say will be at full capacity starting tomorrow, the 4th of July weekend, and they say that others include Deer Creek and Sand Hollow. But they also say if you have your heart set on one particular park, they don't want to discourage you, but they don't want you to be surprised at how long it's going to take to get inside. If you didn't hit the water at Jordan L State Park today, you missed out on a nice, non-crowded day at the reservoir. Brad Fairchild has been here several times this year, but he is not coming back over the 4th of July weekend. Staying away. <laughs> Why so? Well, um, it's, it's, it gets crowded on a holiday. <laughs> Others, like Dana Doggett, say they went to Deer Creek State Park just last Saturday, and it was packed. We got there at 10 o'clock in the morning. Still beautiful, but it was almost full. The parking lot was just about at capacity by 10 o'clock. Some people booked their camping spots at Jordan Nell back in March, and they got the last sites that they could find. Utah State Parks Associate Director Devin Chavez says a lot of people decide to visit parks at the last minute, and they're surprised how long they have to wait to get in. People oftentimes will wait until the last minute uh, to make plans because they might honestly not even know where they want to go. Chavez says before anybody visits a park, they need to check out that park's specific website to see how long the wait time will be. Parks like Goblin Valley, for example, this year the wait's been one to two hours before. Jordan L and Sand Hollow have live cameras so people can see exactly how crowded the parks are. Sometimes the reservoir itself, the boatable water, might be full. So we might say, hey, we can accept people that are going to be hiking or are going to be standing on the beach. But if you have a boat, it might be a longer wait time because there's too many boats on the water. Now, if you really want to go camping this weekend and you hadn't booked a site already, they say it's a bad idea to just go to a state park and hope to find a site available. Instead, they encourage people to go to the Utah State Parks website and click on the Camping This Weekend button, and that has all of the available sites. Paul Nelson, KUTV, 2 News.